Okay, so in this video, um, we're going to cover all the angles in a circle work required for National 5. This will include um, isosceles triangles, tangents, and triangles within a semicircle. So the first thing we're going to look at is just basic symmetry in a circle. This line here that's drawn going down through the middle of this rectangle here is your diameter. Your diameter creates an obvious line of symmetry in the circle because it puts it into two equal parts. Now, if I draw two lines coming out from the centre of a circle, like OC and O to D here, they are both called your radius or your radii, and it is a plural form. So they are both the exact same length. So what happens there is we have created an isosceles triangle. So I'll put those two marks on there just to denote that this is isosceles. The line CD is called a chord, and it's the ones, it's the one that joins um the contact point of your radius and your circles together. And we should have hopefully made that before if you've seen Pythagoras within a circle. So we are going to be looking for um, radii, radiuses, for the next couple of examples to identify isosceles triangles. So I've got two examples here, and what I'm after are the missing angles. So on this one, from O to the outside, we have an isosceles triangle there. Now this will take you back to probably first year angle work. The other two angles, A and B, are obviously matching. Um, using the line of symmetry that's running down the middle. So to get them, we're going to do 180, take away 120, which is 60. And because they match, we can simply half the 60, which means that A and B are both 30 degrees. So A is the same as B, which is 30 degrees. On my second example, again, O to A is a radius, O to B is a radius, O to the outside here is a radius, but there's not much point adding that on because it's not really going to do anything. So from there, the first angle I can get is this one in here. It is on a straight line with 140. And we should remember that a straight line makes 180. So this one in here at the top of the triangle is 40. And the same as we did in the last one, we're going to do 180 take away 40, which is 140. And then if we half that, that gives us 70. So the angle that I've got marked is X is 70, but so is this one at B as well. So these are both... 70 degrees. So I've got some more examples. Um, if you want, you could pause the video at this point and try them and then unpause it and see the next bit where I'm going to put in the answers. So this first one's actually a, a, quite a nasty question. We've got two radices here. So that's an isosceles triangle. Also, if you imagined a line right down the centre of this, that means that that big triangle is also isosceles because you've got the point from right above the centre going straight to the outside and um, points of the radiuses. So that is also isosceles. So I'm going to put an extra mark here to show that that's also an isosceles triangle. Now the first one I'm going to do is using symmetry that this one over here is 40. 40 at 40 is 80. So this one here is 100. Now around the centre here, a full turn is 360. So that makes the other side of that 100, 100 to be 260. Now you notice there's two angles still missing either side here. Let's focus on that big triangle for a second of just the 30. If that was 30, 180 take away 30 is 150. Half of 150 would make these two 75. So if this full angle here that I'm just kind of shading in blue just now, if that full angle is 75, then that makes the little bits in here 35s. And I can just about fit that in. So they're both... 35s. Now, obviously, in all my diagrams, I should probably be putting in the de degree signs, but I'm a bit tight for room. I'm going to come to this one in the middle now. So, using symmetry again, there's 130. Radius and a radius, so isosceles triangle identified. Full turn in the centre makes 360, so that one is 100. 180 take away 100 leaves me with 80, half of 80 is 40. So, I, you can see I'm quite keen on the 100 40 40 triangle. Okay, one last example. Radius here, radius here. It's 100 at the top again. So this is again your 40-40 triangle. So it's all the same triangle but presented in different ways. So the next lesson would be to talk about triangles within a semicircle. And if I was teaching this in class, I would probably get you all to draw a circle, make it a semicircle, and then I would pick any old point on the outside of the circle. So I'd get you to draw a semicircle, and then I would say, right, pick any point on the outside, join each of them to either side of the diameter, and then I would get you all to measure what these angles here were, and they would always turn out to be 90 degrees. 
So that's kind of what the first diagram is showing you. Any triangle within a semicircle that is using the diameter as its baseline is a right angle triangle. So these should all have a little right angle in the corner. And that's something else you have to look for in exam questions because that would then allow you to fill in some other missing angles. So we're going to combine right angle triangles and radiuses now to make isosceles triangles. So looking at my example here, angle B is our right angle, so I'm going to mark that on. Using the fact that a triangle makes 180, I can get this one here. Um, 90 add 25 is 115. 180 take away 115 is 75. No, of course it's not. It's 65. Silly me. So that is 65 in there. Okay, so now for the rest of it, um, this is a radius, this is a radius. So I've got a wee isosceles triangle going on. On a straight line with 120 is 60 to make it up to 180. These two match. They are both 180 take away 60 is 120. Half is 60. So it's not actually an isosceles triangle. It's in fact an equilateral triangle. Okay, so we're going to do some examples now. So all of these ones are looking, we're going to look for radiuses, we're going to look for right angle triangles in a semicircle. So this is a right angle first of all. There is a right angle here on this one, and on the blue one, there's a right angle there. So that's my first step. No radiuses in the yellow one, but there's a radius there, a radius there, and one there in the pink one. The blue one is very like the pink one, but spun upside down, and the pink and the blue ones are leading into really common past paper questions. So first thing I can do is I can get this one. That is on a straight line with 118, so that is 62. This one up here, plus 90 plus 62, must make your 180. So that missing angle up there is 180, take away 152, which is 28. Technically, these two here should also add to 90 if there's already a right angle in the triangle as well. Okay, moving on to the pink one. Um, I will use symmetry and the isosceles triangle to get that 35 first. And then probably... We could go and either get this obtuse one here or the one on the other side of the right angle. It's up to you. We'll all do it differently. You might go one way and your neighbour or your friend will go another. So I'm going to go get the one up with the 90 just now because we're looking at the 90 degree angles. 90 take away 35 is 55. So this one is 55. I'm then going to use my isosceles triangle to fill in the other 55. And the missing angles at the centre, if I use the two 35s, that makes 70. So this one's 110 and that one's 70. And it definitely works because your 55s added together make 110 plus 70 is also your 180. So that's that one. But the, the, the order I fill them in might not be the order you see them in. Okay, working on the blue one, the first angle we have to get is this one here. So 180 take away 155 is 25. Using symmetry, there's also a 25 over there. 25 add 25 is 50, making the one at the top of the triangle 130. On a straight line with 130 is a 50. Now the missing two angles, you can either do 90 take away 25 to get this one, which is 65. Make another one 65, and I'm just going to double check. Two 65s are 130, plus your 50 makes 180. So that is... I was now looked at ones with right angle triangles in a semicircle. The last thing to look at is tangents. A tangent is a line that just touches the circle at one point only. It doesn't intersect it, it just touches. And the example I always think about is think of the tyre of your bike or your car sitting on the ground. The ground is your tangent to the tyre. And the spoke of your wheel that comes to centre is your radius meeting the ground. It will always meet at 90 degrees. Okay, so that's what's drawn in the diagram there. Your tangent can be any old way. Sometimes they draw them over on the diagram like this. Um, if in doubt, remember, you can always just spin your page around to get it into the format of like the tyre sitting on the ground. So I've got two examples down here. So the example down the bottom, first thing here is your radius. I'm going over the blue. Here is your tangent. So there is your right angle. So I've got a wee right angle in there. 90 plus 37 is 127. Take that away from 180, gives you 53. So the missing angle is 53, and I can't put that in because I've put an X on the diagram. If we were filling in all the angles, there is another one on the straight line with 153. Um, if I make that 53 there, 
This one in here is 127. On my second example, um, here is your radius, here is your tangent. So these are both right angles down here at the bottom. You have a radius and a radius, so you've got an isosceles triangle going on as well. On the straight line with 110, make is your 70. Uh, 70 away from 180 is 110. Half of that makes these two both 55 and 55. Not so easy for me to fit in very accurately, I'm afraid. I'm going to try that one again. So 55 and 55. Um, using the fact that this is a 90 degree angle down here, uh, 90 take away 55 is 35 in here. The angle X is on a straight line with 55, so that is 125. And the missing angle here, you can either get using this 35-125 triangle, which gives you 160, making that 120. Or we could have just looked at the big right angle triangle we had here with 70 at the top. 70 and 90, that one there must be 20 at the end as well. So I'm just filling in all the missing angles. And I know I've got certain ones marked X, but where possible I'm going to fill them all in to help you out. Oops.